And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Zoo where Zoo Boo is underway and there are just a ton of ghosts and goblins out here this evening. It's quite the sight to see. All right, let's take a look at what's going to happen with our weather as we move through the next seven days. Some of you may find the weather just a little bit frightening, especially by the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday. High temperatures will only be in the mid to upper 40s, but that's after we warm up. We're going to see temperatures actually getting pretty warm by Sunday. We're going to see temperatures up into the 60s. Right now, we are looking at widespread 40s across central and northeast Wisconsin after highs right around 50 degrees. So it was cooler than normal today. Uh, our normal highs in the mid 50s, and we are running about five to six degrees below that. Right now in Green Bay, it is mostly cloudy. The temperature is 49 degrees. We have northwest winds at around 10 miles per hour. Some dry air has overspread the state of Wisconsin. You can see the dew point right now is 27. If we were to clear out this evening, the temperature would drop down into the 20s, but right now it looks like we're going to have a lot of clouds holding on for most of the night. It is currently 46 degrees in Appleton, and that was the story today. We had clouds mixing with a little bit of sunshine from time to time. We may see just a little bit of clearing as we head deeper into the evening, but there are more clouds out to the west in response to our next weather maker, which is a warm front. And on the other side of that warm front today, it was a whole lot warmer than it was yesterday. Temperatures running about 10 to 15 degrees warmer, and that warmer weather is going to be spreading east as we head into this upcoming weekend. No, we're not going to see high temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s, but that warmer weather is going to be moving towards Wisconsin throughout the night, and by tomorrow, we're going to be looking at temps running probably about 5 to 8 degrees warmer than what we saw this afternoon. Now, as that warmer air overrides the colder air at the surface, we're getting some rising air. And that means we've got a lot of clouds and just a couple of showers here across parts of Minnesota. As you take a look at SkyCast, you can see that those showers will continue to move south and east throughout the evening, but they are going to be drying up as they head our way, which means we're going to have a lot of clouds throughout the night with just a slight chance for a sprinkle or a shower as we head into tomorrow morning. And then the clouds will actually break into kind of a mixture of clouds and sunshine by tomorrow afternoon. And that sunshine will allow that temperature to warm up, at least compared to what we saw today. Most of us will see high temperatures getting up into the mid and upper 50s, and that will be at or slightly above normal for this time of year. Now, as we head into Sunday, we'll see sun and clouds during the morning, and then another system moves through during the afternoon, giving us a slightly better chance for a couple of showers. Now, of course, this is the weekend for peak color across most of northeast Wisconsin, although sky conditions, excuse me, although uh, color conditions do range greatly across the area from near peak peak to peak to past peak. So if you're going to head out and take a look at the leaves, this is probably the weekend to do it because next weekend most of us will be simply just past peak. So your forecast for tonight calls for lots of clouds. We'll see some stars out there. Overnight lows mainly in the 30s. If we can clear out for a couple of hours, some spots could actually drop down into the upper 20s. Tomorrow clouds, an outside chance of a sprinkle early, and then sun and clouds by the afternoon. Temperatures will be warming up into the mid 50s. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 50 if I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Aspiro. We did that yesterday. I forecast a high of 52, and the actual high temperature was 52 degrees. Now, as we head into Sunday, we'll have that chance for a shower during the afternoon, and then we'll cool down a little bit on Monday after highs around 60 on Sunday, mid to upper 50s, and then a much bigger system is going to roll across the area Tuesday and Wednesday, and it looks like it's going to be a wet event, but temperature are going to be just cold enough that there could actually be a sleep pellet or a wet snowflake mixing in somewhere as we head into Wednesday night or Thursday morning, especially north and west of Green Bay. Is that scary, sleet and snow, you guys? Yeah! All right, you guys having a lot of fun? Yeah! Where are we right now? New And what is the event called? New Okay, now I already got a Reese's peanut butter cup from somebody. My next favorite candy is Butterfingers. Who's got a Butterfinger? Anybody? No Butterfingers? <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Two's good enough. Have you guys done the haunted hayride yet? No, we're about to. Have you been in the freaky forest yet? No. All right, well, things to look forward to, right? All right. Short sleeves, really? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I'm that brave. That's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to you, Holly. All right. Thanks so thanks, Cameron. And up next, we're still encouraging.